the most complicated thing in AutoCAD, if there is such a thing, is units. Welcome back guys to our channel and in this video we are going to get the idea of units in AutoCAD. You may have already guessed that we only have numbers in AutoCAD and it doesn't show units. We just say that we are going to draw in millimeters and draw accordingly. For example, a door will be let's say 2 meters but 2000 millimeters. So if you see a door with 2000 height number, it's clearly in millimeters. Or if you see 2 you can say that it's in meters. Did I say that's the hardest thing in AutoCAD? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at first it's a little bit confusing, especially when you see both imperial and metric units. Or sometimes some people scale the drawing inside the model space without ever using the layout tab and annotations to print. Other than that, it's very simple or AutoCAD is unitless. Or in other words, as previously said, it will depend on the designer. However, there is unit setting for a designer not to forget and to make sure that, that the units are right. Now, let's explore unit settings. Type units, press spacebar. As you can see, you can set the different length types such as architectural, engineering, decimal, and so on. If you use metric, you will probably use decimal. If imperial, it's either architectural, engineering, or fractional. Precision, as you can guess, number of decimals shown on the screen. Normally, AutoCAD is very precise, working to 20 decimals. For angle, you can see types here. And for this, normally your angles are measured counterclockwise. If you want clockwise, you can do it here. In insertion scale, you can choose what units you will be working in. Now it's time to see all of this in action. Let's draw some rectangle in imperial units, change type to architectural and insertion scale to inches. Draw a rectangle to depict a table. Type REC, press spacebar, let's make it 4 feet by 4 feet. Select the measure tool in home tab, utilities panel. Select one edge and then the other. It will show you four feet. Click escape couple of times. Let's change the units. Go unit setting and change type to decimal and inch to millimeters. Try to measure it again. It still will be the same. The 48 is inch because we have changed from architectural to decimal. It now shows in inch instead of feet and inches. Let's change it back to architectural. So how do we convert the drawing from imperial into metric? For that we will use command called scale. To use it we need to know how many millimeters in one inch. Let's open Google and see it. We need inch to millimeter conversion. Type it and it is 25.4. Select the rectangle, type SC plus spacebar, type 25.4 and enter. Now it's way bigger than previous one. Why you ask? Because previously it was 4 units in numbers. Its unit does not matter for AutoCAD. It's you who knows that 4 wasn't fit. And because you have previously selected architectural as to how AutoCAD should show numbers, there is apostrophe for fit and umlaut for inch. That is for user's convenience. Now you have multiplied 4 by 25.4 and you got, mm, let's measure it, this number, 101 feet and 7 and a quarter inches. If we convert it to inch, that will be 1219.25 inches, which is completely nonsensical in imperial units. What we're gonna do now is change unit type from architectural to decimal and insertion to millimeters in unit settings and then measure. And now it's 1219.25 millimeters as before. Basically, when we had architectural, it was 1219.25 in inches. However, it didn't make sense to have this big table. Then, after changing to decimal 
and 2 millimeters, we got 1219.25 millimeters. As I have said, AutoCAD does not care or know anything about units. It only cares about numbers. If you see small numbers for something that you think should be big, then the units are probably in meters or feet. If they have large numbers, they are probably in millimeters. And that's it for today. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.